Hey guys, good day. It's 5 a.m. Uh, still not sleeping. Been tossing and turning. Going on four hours of torture for the feet. Uh, they're hitting nothing but my feet. They're making a make like crazy. Going on four hours, up and down, up and down, all night long. But I want to talk about something tonight that's been on my mind. Um, or this morning, I should say. Uh, you know, uh, and this is true because Dr. Duckett has it in his book. Um, this program is based on hyper game theory. We hear other people talk about this on videos. So it's based, you know, it, it's based on hyper game theory. You know, I think some people are confused and they don't, they, they're, they understand what's going on, but they can't, uh, oh, what's the word? They can't, uh, they can't put, uh, oh, how am I trying to say this? You know, they understand what hypergame theory is, but they can't put, like, they can't put it to their own program, you know? Um, and I'll explain that. Um, so, hypergame theory. Um, so, according to other people, you know, some people out there making videos and dunking and everything else, um, you make a move, they make a move, you make a move, they make a move. Okay, you know it's like a chess game, but okay now. So from what I understand is, is that you're, you can kind of control this if you want to. Okay, now they're gonna attack you. Okay, and supposedly the the attack could be off of your last move. Okay, so I'll give you an example. If if you are shielding all day long, you know you try a you try a helmet, and they'll attack you uh, off your last move. So if you if you're trying to put on a helmet to try to block these guys out, they will come. That sets it up for the next attack. Okay, that's the way I understand it. Okay, so if you're shielding all day long or you're watching Christian content all day long your next you're setting up yourself for the next wave of attacks so say um, I'll give an example of a TI uh, you know you got your earphones in you got your helmet on you got uh, you know whatever else you use you know so each thing you try, you're setting yourself up for the next wave of attacks to attack you, okay? Now, it's a continuous cycle, continuous cycle, continuous cycle. Um, you're not going to be able to beat the computer. So if you keep on shielding, uh, you're going to keep on getting attacks, and you're setting yourself up for the next wave of attacks, everything you try to do. Okay, now I'll give you an example of what I've been going through tonight. I went to bed at midnight. Okay, uh, so I went to bed. Now this is I'm getting set up for the next wave of attacks, which is making my feet itch at 1 a.m. So I laid down for an hour. At 1 a.m. they made my feet itch. Okay, now when I wake up. They stop the attack. Okay, now, so I make a move, they make a move, I make a move, they make a move. Hyper, hyper game theory. So, you know, I'm awake, so they're not making my feet itch at all. Now I go to, I go back to bed, and I'm setting myself up for the next attack, which is making my feet itch. So when I'm awake, I'm fine. They don't make my feet itch. Every time I go to bed, they make my feet itch like crazy. They don't want me to sleep. You know, they're giving, they're attacking me every time I try to go to bed. You know, and then of course it, it becomes sleep deprived and all that type of stuff. That you know, the more complicated stuff that you know Brian Two talks about and everything else. But that's hypergame theory. You know, they hit me. 
I wake up, the attack stop. So I try to go back to bed, and a few minutes, you know, five minutes later, they attack me again. So I think there's people out there that um, the thing, the thing is, is don't play the game. Don't play the game, okay? Now there's a little <sighs> hypocritical stuff going on that TI is talking about, okay? Um, it's a proven fact if you stop shielding I think people who shield get more get hurt more you know uh, there's guys out there that shield that are getting nailed and nailed and nailed and nailed okay because each thing they shield with they're setting themselves up for the next wave of attacks so every time you shield you get attacked every time you shield you get attacked Every time you shield, get attacked. And there's people out there that, that shield 24-7 and they get attacked 24-7. They don't get a break. You know, I don't shield unless I have to. Only if I have to. Um, if I'm getting hit super hard, you know, um, then I'll shield. Um, so are they totally, you know, are the attacks totally based on Hyper game theory, not necessarily, because um, sometimes these guys will just try to attack you when you're not doing anything. They'll just start attacking you. Um, so, so the hyper game theory isn't isn't necessarily in play all the time. Um, you can be doing nothing and they'll sit there and attack you. Um, but what what I'm saying is, the more you shield the more you're going to get attacked. And that's a proven fact. Because I don't shield unless I have to. Um, and they usually get through it. You know, so... You know, they're making my feet itch last night and tonight because they don't want me to sleep. You know? So, when I'm up, I'm fine. They don't want me to sleep. So when I go back to bed, they're going to nail me again and it's setting the next wave of attacks that are happening. So, you know, some people, you know, they understand hypergame theory and all that stuff. And this is the way I understand it. But the easiest thing to do is don't play the game. They can force you to play the game. They can force you to do it. Don't get me wrong. They can force you to play the game. So if you try not to play the game, they will force you to play the game which sets yourself up for the next wave of attacks. But I don't think I don't think they're necessarily going they're uh, going through uh, hyper game theory all the time. You know, um, I don't think they're using that all the time because sometimes they'll just attack you for the hell of it, you know, because this guy gets off on it, you know, and stuff. So and I don't, I think these guys are too stupid to, they don't even realize what's going on. Some of these guys, I th what I, I'll tell you what I think. Okay, now they got low level people, uh, drug addicts, dope heads, potheads, whatever. Um, and they could be using these weapons, they could be taught how to use these weapons, is what I think. I see a low level guy hit me with a radiation gun. The radiation was so strong I had to get out of the house. You know, the guy was driving a $2,000 car. So these guys do use the weapons. But I think, I think there's a handler there. So if they have two or three people on, handler dining you, uh, doing whatever to your brain waves and all this stuff, I think, I think they got a handler there that doesn't get his hands dirty and tells them what to do. Yeah, make his feet itch. Make him throw up. Make him have diarrhea. Blah, blah, blah. And I think, I think, I, I think that guy doesn't get his hands dirty. And he tells these low-level people what to do. And they do it. That's, that's kind of what I think. Um, I could be wrong. Um, you know, I could be wrong. Uh, maybe there's no one there supervising, doing whatever. You know, or maybe they're not there all the time. 
but there's got to be a handler there telling them, well, take it easy on them today or hit them hard today or or whatever. And sometimes they will just hit you and it has nothing to do with hypergame theory. You, you could be sleeping and wake up in the morning and they'll nail you for no reason, you know. So it's not all hyper game theory, but but I think it is impl implemented, minted in there, and they do use it most of the time. So don't play the game, you guys. You know, and and I wouldn't shield like crazy. Um, you're making it worse on yourself because you're setting yourself up for more attacks. You make a move and they're gonna attack. You make a move, you're gonna attack. And they're gonna attack. You know, it's like playing a chess game. You know, so that's all I want to say. Um, I'm up. You know, it's five o'clock in the morning. I can't get to sleep. I'm gonna try to go back, and I'll probably make my feet itch all night. I, we're going on four hours so far. When I'm awake, I'm fine. When I try to sleep, they hit me. Hyper game theory. Anyway, um, I'll talk to you guys later.